Welcome back to Klingon Academy 2, everyone. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer. Today, we're taking a look at... Oh, boy. The Interstellar Concordium. You can pretty much guess how this is going to go. You see... The ISC are not exactly native to this area of the galaxy. I personally believe that the ISC are actually natives to the Galactic Rim. So far away from the Federation core that they actually have to use subspace jump technology just to get to the local area. Though Squire and others believe that the ISC are native to another galaxy, probably one of our satellites. Yes, we do have satellite galaxies. The greater and later, the lesser and greater Magellanic clouds. Again, I will be discussing that with him. I am very good at this sort of thing. So, yeah. Anyway. The ISC are probably the most lazily implemented ones because they just don't have any models to work with. Their colony ship, their troop ship, repair ship, dilithium freighter, their construction ship, they all share the same model. Not even any variations. Now, to be fair to Squire, he really doesn't have anything to work with. However, I will suggest to him Go to Shapeways. Go take a look at the ships there, the older SFB designs. Use them as older sh as older ship models or extra stuff. I've even suggested a few other things that he actually does like. But... That'll depend on, int on him. You will notice something of a theme with the ISC here. Not a lot of variation. As well as something that actively depresses me. You see... Apparently, the ISC use phasers. Though, for reasons I completely fail to understand, he's given them refits that use disruptors. Now, I've suggested to him, and he actually likes the suggestion. I even gave a nice little lore little bit for him. about how to give these guys a pure phaser loadout. But, yeah. Anyway, all these models happen to be from Orion Pirates, plus well, Orion Pirates and, well, Starfleet Command 2. In fact, there are no models here that aren't from Starfleet Command 2. Every single one you see here happens to be pretty much a rip from SFC 2. And later on, SFC Orion Pirates. They all fulfill the same job. Jobs as their counterparts from the Federation. For example, this thing is the Okinawa. This thing is a downgraded Oberth. The Akula, the Akula on steroids. Again, I will be discussing the disruptor thing with him. But that rant will be saved for another day. Now, 
most. Now, there's only one ship here. Okay, there's actually two. This is the X-era starship from, uh... This is the X-era destroyer from Orion Pirates. While this thing is the X-era... Ahem. <laughs> the X-era heavy cruiser... If I'm going to be blunt, it's actually a bit of a downgrade from the heavy cruiser. I mean, all it's got is a little extra hull integrity and none of the fancier guns. You know, I like the Dreadnought from, uh, from the opening. It's kind of iconic, just seeing the ship jump to warp. But... Yeah, there should be a battleship. I've suggested a model for him, a version for him. Actually, a conversion from, uh, this thing. And, of course... Their carrier. Now... A fun fact about the subspace jump technology... That could actually be... <laughs> that actually summons a, uh... Well... I suppose that'll be a surprise for the non-playable starships vid. Which this is not. The ISC really don't have much in the way of mixed tech. In fact, to the best of my knowledge, the only mixed tech they have... is an upgrade to the sensor buoy, which includes E-plads, basically cloak sniffing, as well as an upgrade to their fighters. Three guesses where that comes from, and if you guess hydrants for every one, you get a cookie. I'm sorry, there's not much for me to talk about because, well, all of these ships are basically just imports directly from Orion Pirates. With no model modifications. Now he did modify a few. A few for the Klingons and the other factions. But that brings us to the last one. I hate Tholians. Now, I bet you're wondering, why the hell are the Tholians even involved in this? They don't have enough ships. And you're right, they don't. They don't have a lot of combat ships, let alone logistics ships. In fact, this is their colony ship. which also happens to be the mining ship. Their construction ship. Which is a light modification of their repair ship. Or the other way around. I'm not entirely sure. But again, these models are not made up. They're actually from Klingon Academy. They're actually seen during the... I'm just gonna keep calling it that. Chang's wet dream. Where he gets his victory over the Federation, even though we all know that's literally impossible. What the hell? Oh, it wants to be stupid. I don't freaking think so. Again, this is why I don't do pure scripts. Okay, fine. 
now this is the ship where you supposedly see in TOS, even though TOSR kind of puts pay to that. Alongside Enterprise, but again, I will be discussing that with him. But these models appear in Klingon Academy. This is their light cruiser. And oh boy, is their tech tree a living hell. Now I bet you're probably wondering... Oh, that explains everything. Literal edge of the map. Didn't notice. <laughs> yup. Bit embarrassing, but what the hell. Their tech tree is bonkers. And that's putting it mildly. You see, it's not the straightforward, simple, and easy way of going from the largest, the smallest ship to the biggest. No, it it's really convoluted. You see, the largest ship you can get is the Garnet class. And then you have to start building a, n a massive number of things just to get access to the next ship up, which happens to be this thing, the Quartz class, which looks pretty unique. See in the lore, according, you see, Squire James decided to adapt the Andromedian invaders lore into the Tholians. The Tholians are not native to our galaxy. That's debatable, but... So, the Tholians are native to Andromeda. Okay, they might actually survive there. They're literal crystals. They survive in 500k environments. And they have some pretty weird starship designs. The Quartz being a quarter-scale model of one of their capital ships. So the tech tree goes from Feldspar to Garnet, and then you have to wait an eternity before getting your hands on the Ruby Glass, which incorporates Andromedy and Mixed Tech, before you can build the Quartz Class, the Citrine you can research pretty much after getting your hands on the Ruby, then you have to build a uh, the tree is insane, and I would need to actually pull up the entire... Actually, I'm going to have to. Alright. Obviously, you have to build these. Then you have to build this, the transition, the transmission resolver, before you can finally get your hands on the ruby and the quartz. Then it's standard procedure. You can build the amethyst, the sapphire, and the emerald. It, it's ridiculous and very convoluted, and probably Squire's way of trying to go. This is why the Tholians don't have a lot of ships. They also have ridiculously low crew counts. <laughs> I mean... Their battleship has as much crew as a heavy cruiser. So, that says a lot. Of 
course, these guys have some pretty unique weapons. The web cannon, for example, which you can start mounting on ships like the Garnet once you research it. As for their weapons... Phasers, and once again, a Tholian-style disruptor. You know, I would have just given these guys pure Tetrion -like we weapons, like an STO. Because the logistician in me is going, why? Why? Even if these ships are grown, which they are, you don't make life for your medical, engineering, whatever professionals, for the Tholians, that is. You don't make their li lives harder, you make them as easy as possible. Keep the engineers happy, and life is good. So, that said, I do like the Tholian designs. They're strange, they're exotic. I personally believe they should be an STO, with a few modifications, obviously. Logistically, they are confusing as all hell. Next time we'll be moving on to non-playable starships and factions that are just not available in the game. For you see, there are ships from SFC2 and ships that were converted that do pop up in this game, but they involve the thing everybody hates the most. R-N-G. How's Code Gaming? Signing off.